Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a pretzel stand. Here are all of the materials that we will need to make it. Begin by placing an upside down smooth quartz stair facing towards you. To the right of this, place two upside down dark prismarine stairs with a smooth upside down quartz stair on the end. Then, extending backwards, we want to place two upside down dark prismarine stairs. Behind that, an upside down smooth quartz stairs. Across, two more upside down prismarine. And finally, an upside down smooth quartz stair. We then want to join the shape together front to back by placing spruce trap doors. I want to place a blast furnace inside of this area towards the back. On top of that, any kind of rail. I sort of like the activator rail, but I sort of like the detector rail as well. Feel free to change it. We need to have a solid block here to place stuff on, so a couple of smooth quartz slabs will do. Then a glass block on top of this. Place end rods on top of each one of the four corners of the stand. And on top of the four corners, we want to have quartz stairs. And then in between these stairs, we will want to have dark prismarine stairs, like this. And the corners should all fold inwards, just like so. Perfect. Now, to finish this off, some smooth quartz slabs just in the top here. And that's all there is to it. We have to place some oak trap doors flipped down on each one of the four corners. This is going to act as... We basically want it to look like a cart of some sort, so it sort of achieves that effect. The next thing that we want to do is we want to grab the item frames, spruce fence gate, loom, white banners, brown dye, white dye, cyan dye. If you are on bedrock like me, you'll need the field mason pattern and the bourgeois indented pattern. We have to place... So, anywhere along here, really, you can place this, but item frame, spruce fence gate, sort of with a little bit of imagination, especially if you can actually see the parts in between, sort of looks like a pretzel, so you can have this. So let's make a banner for this now as well, because I further want to try and reiterate what this is. We're going to place a loom, put a white banner in there, and then we are going to grab the brown dye, throw that in there, and we're first of all looking for the masoned pattern, which is this. Grab that, put that back in, add some stripes. Grab that, put that back in, Put some white dye in there now. And we are looking for the bajor pattern. I think that's what it's called. Now that we've done that, we want to grab that, put that back in. And then we are going to have the bottom. Is it the entire bottom? No. We want to have a row of white across the bottom. Grab that. Put that back in. We then want to have a row of white across the top. Grab that, put that back in. And then we want to have the triangle at the top. Grab the banner, put that back in. However, on Java, you can't add any more pattern, and it would seem as though we can't here either. So, we now want to place this white banner Pretty much anywhere. However, I mean, you could even hang it off of the actual cart as well if you wanted to. The only gripe I have about this banner is it looks ever so slightly, you know, suspicious. Like it might be something else, perhaps. <laughs> so, you know, use it at your own risk. I did also consider that it might be cool to have a couple of options to have like, maybe like a ketchup bottle and a mustard bottle kind of like at the back here. I'm not sure if you'd actually put these on your pretzel, but 
To do that, it requires a solid block to place the yellow and red candles. So, not only have you got to change the cart, but also, you know, you might not want to put ketchup on your Presto. Mustard, mustard maybe, but ketchup, you probably don't want to put it on. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. So, it's kind of like an optional extra. But anyway, that's the build. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.